Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your March 2018 tarot reading. Generally my readings are love readings, but the last two readings I did were not. So we're going to call this a general reading. Whatever comes up, comes up. Whatever doesn't, doesn't. Take what does and leave the rest. Thanks for not asking for your reading. I really appreciate that. Hence the reason you guys are at the top of the list. Many of you are working on letting go of something, but you're not quite there yet. You're still hanging on. Unable to move forward for some reason. Lack of courage, lack of confidence, lack of strength, lack of willpower. You know, I feel like many of you are going through some sort of suffering that you may be trying to bury. You may be trying to bury some kind of pain inside of you instead of dealing with it. Um, you need to realize that the future is bright. You know, patience, patience. You need to work on yourself. You need to realize that everything happens for a reason it, it appears to me that you know things will start to get better as soon as you take action but your lack of taking action is hindering your reward okay this is lack of taking action as well you really do need to take action in some arena okay it's like you're not mastering your emotions very well you're burying them you're burying your feelings inside instead of realizing that you need to let them out it's time for you to change the course change your destiny okay it's in your hands this is good luck it's this is uh, the uh, wheel of fortune when this card comes out it means that there's a change of course right in front of you should you decide to take action Maybe you have a choice between two people and now you really need to make a decision. I mean, three, three, three. So there's a, I think there's a choice. I think there's a third party situation here. Maybe you or your partner or whoever's on your mind has options and it's decision making time, okay? I think there's a lack of joyfulness at this time. There's a lack of happiness because someone is suffering in silence. They're suffering inside and and not taking action where they need to take action when all you have you can change your destiny you can change this course whenever you truly master your emotions and put yourself in the driver's seat this is the chariot this is the strength they're both reversed this is telling me that you have this you have to have the willpower and the devotion to make this change that you are thinking about making i see that you're thinking about it here it's like you aren't you aren't following your intuition you aren't listening you're being you know what you need to do but you're just you're you're pushing it down pushing it down i know i can't i can't even though i know what i want to do i know what my heart tells me i want to do you're not trusting your intuition you may be feeling detached feeling like you're a victim feeling like you can't communicate you may be feeling like you're withdrawn or that you might even be criticized if you follow your heart it feels as though there is a connection here that is um, undeniable, okay? There's an undeniable connection here, probably a, a bond between you and another person that is unbreakable. I mean, it, it, I mean, it's breakable, but barely, okay? There's some chains. It feels like you're chained to somebody and you just can't let it go. This is the devil card. Is telling me that you can free yourself, but you're not willing to free yourself at this time. You're not. You're not. And the thing is, is with this destiny card, it's like there's karma. These are both karma as well. There's a karmic situation here that you need to acknowledge and, and take action in regards to this karmic situation so that you can change this course it's in your hands it's like you need to stand up you need to take action you need to have the strength to do what your inner guide your intuition is telling you to do strength intuition the strength is reversed the intuition 
they're both reversed because you're ignoring them you're ignoring them and because you're ignoring them you know things aren't changing the destiny is in your hands okay there's destiny here this there could be a life partnership here but that you're trying to ignore it you're trying to ignore something okay that's the truth feeling like you're detached, feeling like you're just going to withdraw from this truth. It's like you can't let go of something. You can't let go of some sort of addiction, some sort of obsession. You can't free yourself from it. And it's making you really unhappy. Um, yeah, there's a lack of love right now. You may be feeling like you you don't have any future. You don't have there's no more dreams of the future because nothing is changing. You know, there there's a lack of um romance in your life because you you feel like some some kind of dream has died. Oh my gosh. And it just reiterated, this is the dying dream, okay? So something is, 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 is ending or has ended that you can't let go of. You can't let go of. And you feel like, you know, maybe you're wanting a second chance with somebody or you, you're scared of offering one, okay? It's like there's, there's, you feel like there will be no second chances or there'll be no more chances here. And you're not allowing yourself to release the past. I just can't release it. Because upright, this is releasing the past right next to this. There's some, some person that is in your life that you can't release. And it's making you feel like dead inside. You may feel like you're going to grow old alone. You may, you may, you know, maybe you feel like you're going to be let down if you take action. They're, you're just going to be let down so you don't dare to. This right here is you may, you, you're definitely fear that you're going to grow old alone. Here there's a lack of, lack of love for oneself. There's a lack of growth. There's a lack of fertility. There's a lack of compassion. Um, you may be be being called to act with your heart in this situation and you're not doing it let your heart drive because you can't you can't pretend forever right now you're just blocking out these emotions feeling unhappy feeling no joy feeling unfulfilled feeling like something has died and you can't do anything about it when the fact of the matter is you can do something about it Destiny is in your hands. Act with your heart. That's the advice of this Empress Reversed. Act with your heart. Follow your heart, Pisces. For many of you, there's a new beginning. There's a new course. There's a new chapter, a new phase that you are being offered. But you have to take action. You have to focus. You are the leader. You are the boss. You're the boss of this new beginning if you're looking for success success can be had if you take action this is the most action oriented king in the deck this king takes action does it think too long does it does it so in front of the you is something big a major new beginning once you take action it's <laughs> this is the boss you are the boss like I just said it's time for you to get your life back on track bring some stability back to your life make a decision stand strong be impulsive seriously use the wisdom that you've learned through this hard lesson I think that there's a lesson that has been learned because this is a lesson there's a lesson that has been learned and you are being called to take action in regards to your destined path which is underneath that's the basis of your reading there's some destiny here that you are trying to block you're trying to block some destiny for fear of rejection for fear of being let down 
And while you're living in this fear, you're continuously being hurt. You're being called to act with your heart. Put yourself in the driver's seat and take action, Pisces. So I feel like this is a month of you getting your life back on track, taking the stand, being the boss, being dominant, taking control, protecting what you believe to be yours. Because this is very, this is the protector. It's time for you to take action and follow your heart. Do I see new love coming in? No, I don't have the Ace of Cups. I don't have the Two of Cups. I don't have the Lover's Card. I don't have the Ten of Cups. I don't see any new love coming in. I see like this is a month of fulfilling your destiny through your actions. Taking action in regards to what your heart wants. Stop denying it. Stop pushing it down. Because you can't live in denial forever. It's time to remove the blockage. Forgiveness is needed. This is forgiveness. And I think there's also a choice between two people. It's time to make a decision. I feel like you can't let go of something in your past. And your heart's telling you what to do. And you're blocking it out. And this reading is not for every single person that watches it. So if it's not for you, then kindly move on. It feels like there's a there's a the death of an idea. Okay, there's the death of an idea that has is is really eating you. Playfulness. Play with a child. Children are your greatest teachers. Children are your greatest teachers. This is about innocence. They have no worries. They act on their hunches, don't they? Is that what a children does? A child does? A child acts on their hunches. They just do it. Well, they do what their heart tells them to do. You're being called to be impulsive. This is the most impulsive. This emperor is impulsive. Very wise. Has learned a lot, but impulsive. Follow your heart, Pisces. If you don't, you may never forgive yourself. Forgiveness is needed. to bring happiness back to your life. Maybe it's just forgiving yourself. Maybe it's forgiving the other person. There's something you can't ju you just can't let go of. And you're being called to act with your heart. And stop pushing down your feelings. So what do I have for this month, Pisces? I don't see that new love is coming in. I see that you have a heartfelt decision to make. What do you want? Many of you are unable to shed the past.
So this month is still, I think it's another month of being in your head. Being in your head, not taking action, but you're being called to act and you act with your heart. Act with your heart. That's my message. Act with your heart. Follow your heart, Pisces. That's what I have for March. I mean, I can't make love come in if you're not ready. If you're still, if you're still hung up on the past, then I suggest you head that direction. <laughs>